I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn the concept of triangular numbers. We have a pattern here. In this case we have one row. Let me write down here number of rows as one. In this case we have two rows and now we have three rows. As the number of rows increase the number of circles will also increase. right? So let me sketch the next row which is let's say the fourth row so where we have these circles so what we have here is first row has one circle the next row has two circles right so we have two circles and the, the third row will have three circles let me draw three circles here okay uh, one two and three and then the fourth row will have four circles so so this pattern has uh, four rows so bottommost has four circles. So that is how the pattern increases. And what we notice here is there's kind of an equilateral triangle. Do you see this? Four sides for the fourth circle, uh, three for the, the three rows. And, you know, so that is the kind of triangle which we are talking about. All these triangles are equilateral triangle. So what we get here is equilateral, let me say triangles, right? So all we have is equilateral triangles. And we need to figure out in these triangles, how is the pattern of circles increases? That is what we need to find. So let's make a table to understand the pattern. So I'm making a table here. Uh, we'll write the number of rows and uh, number of circles in each triangle. So here we'll write rows and here we'll write uh, the number of triangles. Okay. So row number and triangles number. To begin with, in the very first row, we have only, I mean, I should have written circles. So we'll write circles in the triangle. So in row one, we have one circle. If we have two rows, so these are the rows which we are talking about. In two rows, we have three circles. These are the three circles we are talking about. Third row has three and third row three more. So you add three to it, you get six. Fourth row, in addition to whatever we had, it has four more. Six plus four is ten with that pattern fifth will have five more 15 and so on right so that is how the pattern is going to increase so what we see here is a pattern where with every row the number of circles increasing in our case is same as the row number being increased correct that is the pattern which we notice now is there a relation of this pattern with Pascal's triangle? That is the main idea. So let us see if there is one. So let's start with uh, row 0 for Pascal's triangle. And then when you expand in row 1, we have these two ones. And in the second row, we have three terms. So 1, 2, and 1. And in the third row, we have four terms, right? So with every row, there are four numbers, right? So when you add one, one plus two is three, three and one. And in the next row, we have one more term, right? So, so that is it. So we have one, three plus one, four, three, three, six, four and one. And if we increase this, so what happens? So if we increase this, uh, it is something like this and then we'll compare with our numbers 4 plus 1 5 6 plus 4 10 6 plus 4 10 and then 5 and 1 now what we are getting here is numbers like 1 3 6 10 and 5 let's see these diagonals 1 3 6 10 and 15 right so so if you notice this particular diagonal which is the third diagonal 1, 3, 6, 10 
And if I expand this, the number here will be when you add 5 and 10. Do you see that? When you add 5 and 10, you'll get this number, correct? Which will be 15, right? So, so we get the next number. So what you notice here is that these numbers here correspond to the terms within the Pascal's triangle, right? So, so the position here, we can write for each the position as, in this particular case, let me write this as in terms of the term number using Pascal's notation. So here we are saying this number, right? So it is row number is two for us, correct? And zero, one, two. So it is T two, two, right? This position is row number three for us, zero, one, two, three. So it is T three, zero, one, two, T three, two. Similarly, the other positions are T four, two, T five, two, T six, two, and so on. So when you relate them, what relation do you see? If I have nth row, in that case, this should be T. 6 is 1 more than 5, 5 is 1 more than 4, so we have n plus 1, 2. So that is how we can find number of circles in nth row. Do you get the idea, right? So, so if I have 10th row, for example, and if I make this pattern, then the number of circles will be how many? T, 10 plus 1, 11, 2. Do you see that? So we can expand and get the result. Now there is another quick way of finding this answer. To find the 11th row, we have to kind of continue with this pattern. As you will learn, we can use combination 11C2 will also give us the same number. Let me try it out with the calculator. Let me first do uh, check one of these values. Let us say we check this, that is 4C2. So if I use calculator, we say 4, here's a com combination C, 2, it gives us a number 6, we know it is 6, correct. If I try uh, 6, C2, so it is 6, C2, what do I get? I get 15, right, so this is 15, and therefore I could try 11, C2 also, 11, C2 will give us 55. So the number of circles in the 10th row, I mean, I should say, in a triangle formed using 10 rows. So I should not say 10th row, I should say row 10, right? 10 rows will be so many. So let me write down here. We say number of circles in triangle with 10 rows, right, that is absolutely clear, will be 55, will be 11 C2, 1 plus 10, which is equals to 55, and in Pascal's uh, triangle terms, it will be, it will be same as equals to T11 2, right? So that is how you can find uh, how triangular numbers are related with the Pascal's triangle. So it is the third diagonal which represents all the triangular numbers. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.